After a struggle with dementia, singer Sandy Posey passed away at the age of 80. The performer, whose successes from the 1960s include Single Girl and Born a Woman, died on Saturday morning at her Tennessee home due to complications from her degenerative disease, according to confirmation from her spouse Wade Cummins. Posey had been fighting dementia for a while, according to Cummins, but over the last seven years, his condition had gradually deteriorated. She had been healthy otherwise, he claimed. Posey passed away with Cummins, her daughter Amy, and their niece by her side. Posey's spouse claimed to have taken care of her in her later years and to be devastated by the loss of the person he truly loved, whom he misses terribly. Posey and Cummins are ardent Christians, and he finds solace in the idea that she is now with Jesus. According to Cummins, Cummins stated that the generosity and encouragement he has received from her millions of admirers worldwide has given him solace. The sources claim that Posey's family is organizing a celebration of life event in her honor, but they haven't decided on a date yet. The sources claim that Cummins stated that the incident will be videotaped and posted on Facebook for her supporters to see. Per sources, Posey will be cremated. Born a woman and single girl, both released in 1966, were among Posey's songs. Other hits included I Take It Back, What a Woman in Love Won't Do, and Are You Never Coming Home, all from 1967. Posey received two Grammy nominations during her career for Born a Woman in 1967. These nominations were for Best Contemporary, R&R, Solo Vocal Performance Male or Female and Best Vocal Performance, Female. The sources claimed that Posey had signed to several record labels throughout the years, including Columbia, Warner Brothers, and MGM. Posey possessed a high, keening voice that bore only the slightest twang, according to a profile posted on allmusic.com. She would emphasize this voice after I Take It Back debuted in the top 40 in 1967. As the 1970s rolled around, Posey turned her attention to country music, collaborating with producer Billy Sherrill, who had previously worked with the late Tammy Wynette. According to allmusic.com, she returned in the 2000s, re-recording her hit songs and a record for King Records. Posey, who was born in Jasper, Alabama, on June 18, 1944, recently celebrated turning 80. After completing her high school education in West Memphis, Arkansas, she relocated to Memphis in order to pursue her career aspirations in music. Before her breakthrough with the aforementioned tracks, she had worked as a session vocalist and as a receptionist at a studio. In honor of the late performer, the Nashville-based Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum tweeted on Monday. It said, Sandy Posey passed away on July 21st. Her hits, including Born a Woman and Single Girl, combined the sweetness of 1960s teen pop with country melodies. She recorded with renowned producer Billy Sherrill and did session work for Elvis Presley during her career. 